Hey YouTube, today we have some rather big wind. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, we're still in manual mode here. Hang on. Okay. Today we have some pretty hefty winds. The forecast for today was 15 to 20 sustained this afternoon. And it's just about 11 o'clock in the morning. And uh, we've been having 15 to 20 for the past maybe half hour now. I actually had a peak wind gust of 33 miles an hour. And I wasn't out here, but the wind is... I mean, look at the meters, you can see, look at this. And this voltage reducer, if you watched my last video, I got this voltage reducer here from a golf cart. It's a 24 to 48, 24 to 60 volt input, and I have it wired up to this uh, high amp dual po or quad post solenoid. It's a dual, double pole, double throw solenoid. Um, and when the winds, when the voltage of the turbine gets up over 24 volts, the voltage reducer activates that relay and disconnects the 10 to 30 volt inverter and. That way the 22 to 60 volt inverter is the only one that's on. And then naturally when the voltage drops on the wind turbine, the relay shuts off and turns back on the 500 watt inverter, which is 10.8 to 30 volt. But the winds are uh, mostly out of the south, which is a straight shot. There's no obstructions to the wind turbine out of the south. But I've been pumping power. Now, under 20 mile an hour winds, I am making a lot of electricity here. Uh, today is going to be a perfect day for me to get some shots of this thing doing some stuff. Now, I'm standing out here in the garage in my shorts, so if I disappear, it's because I'm cold and I had to go put pants on. Um, but I, I, we just had a 30, 33 mile an hour gust a little while ago. And since then, the wind has been up near 20 and kind of holding steady there. I mean, as you can see, look at the, the meters are proof. You know, I'm pumping a steady 10, 10, 20 amps in. And I'm pushing, you know, a couple hundred watts to the AC side. You know, it's been steady, pretty steady around 100 watts, and it jumps up to 300, 4, 5, 600 watts. Um, but I've been monitoring. It's really cold out here. It's in the 30s, so I'm not really too worried about these devices here that get warm. Now the uh, the rectifier, apparently, this is it's warm. It's not hot. It's just warm. But I'm not. I don't know. I'm going to keep my eye on that. If that, I know that is going to start getting really hot today. If this wind stays the way it is, I'm going to have to. I'll, I'll just unscrew it from the wall and let it hang there. Because uh, I really... This super wire is in the way. I really don't want to leave that on that wood if... Because I'm going to be home all day, so... I just don't want to leave it in contact with the wood in case it does start getting really hot. But, uh, yeah, see, the wind just died off a little bit. Maybe I, See, I want to pop the door open, but it's freaking cold out there. But I couldn't pass the opportunity up. I just grabbed the camera and came out here, and I wanted to start filming this. Just so you can see. Now, most of my videos, my wind gusts were under 20 mile an hour. My sustained winds were like 10 to 15, usually. Mostly hovering around 10 with a little peak of 15. Today, they're... 15 to 20 sustained this afternoon. So I'm, and now I'm purely grid tied. I don't have the battery hooked up at all, but I do have that out here in case I need it. Because you never know. You never know when you're going to need that. Yeah, see, every time I come out here with the camera, the wind just craps out. Now there's no solar hooked up. Oh, wait, yes, there is.
Now there's no solar hooked up. That's the other thing too. I don't have a blocking diode on those. So I, I really don't know. And nor have I really found anything out about wind turbines putting out more voltage than what the solar panel is rated for. If it'll actually fry the solar panel, I don't know. So I'm not going to chance it. I know I should have a blocking diode on it, but I don't. It's, it's leaning up against the side of the garage right now. It's not set up. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's what I've gotten so far. Let me zoom in a little more here so I can see these meters better. Oh, too far. Come on. There we go. The stability control on this camera is kind of goofy feeling. So let's see if we get a... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop the door open so you can kind of hear what the winds are doing. can see the meters better. Well, I can shut the light off. Here, you want to see what the winds are doing? I'll show you what the winds are doing. Oh, wait. Now remember, amps times volts, that'll give you watts. And you always want to do the DC watts from right here. I'm within a foot of the rectifier, so this is pretty, pretty damn good uh, readings. There's really no DC voltage drop because I'm using number four wire. Uh, and I'm right here. Okay, let's take a look outside. I'll show you what the winds are doing on here. See, now they're not that bad. Here's these little tiny bitch trees. See if we can see over here. These are the ones that I always concentrate on because these trees are over 100 years old and they've been there forever. And when they start swaying, that's when you know the wind is really whoosh, whipping. Whipping good. Do, 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 do. Crack that whip. Oh, and the clouds are really booking it up there too. But it's cold. It's in the 30s out here right now. Here we go. Okay, let's go back over to the thinking here. Here comes a big gust. There we go. Yeah, I'm trying to see if we get this inverter to, or the voltage reducer to chick over. But it's supposed to be like this all day, all through the night and everything too, so we're going to be making power all damn day. And the wind turbine is silent. It's not making no humming noise because it is on my roof. Does not cog at all. There we go. There we go. Big gust. Big gust. Come on. Do it. Oh, almost. There we go. Ready? Come on, do it. Oh, do it. Here we go. Ah. Almost. Almost. See, which is, it's in the threshold. There we go. Now the relay is activated. Now we're running on the 22 to 60 volt inverter. And now it's off. Now we're on the 10 to 30. I'm gonna call it the 11 to 30 because it's 10.8 volts. Okay, here we go. Here's a really big one. 
the power goes out, I'm going to be pissed. See, that's 153, 44, 55, 84, just dropped down for a moment, 92, 150, 163. I'm reading AC watts going into the kilowatt meter. Yeah, see, now they're starting to come out of the west a little bit, the west, southwest. That's usually really sloppy air because it's coming up over the house before it hits the turbine, so it really gets turbulent. But when it starts coming right out of the south, which it will later this afternoon, and that's when it's supposed to pick up even more. See, right now that's like that's like a 15 mile an hour wind. That ain't really nothing. But you can see in 15 15 mile an hour winds. Whoa! 60 volt. Look at that. Yeah! Look at that. It was 640 volts on the AC side. Look at that, that's 20, 30 volts at 20 amps. Almost 30 volts at 20 amps. Do the math. And we're still on the 10, 22 to 60 volt inverter. The relay is on. I should put an LED on there so we know that it's on, right? That'd be a good idea. Okay, now it's off. So, it's working. It works. Okay, I think it's on again, is it? Yeah. Now it's off. Wow, when the air starts to vibrate and make a bunch of noise, you know it's windy. Oh man, I'm gonna be, oh there's your shit. Okay, you saw it there. 30 volts at 20 amps. That's 600 watts. In case anybody was wondering. Six hundred watts, and this is a Windy Nation Wintura 750. And I'm not in 60 mile an hour winds either to get it. These are 25, 20, 25 mile an hour gusts, and I'm getting that kind of power. And this is the time of the year that I get these kind of winds. I am so happy that I made a change over to this turbine. Oh my god. Let's see, the kilowatt meter has been running. I actually reset it. It's been running for 52 minutes. And we got 60 watt hours already. I reset the timer on it because I wanted to uh, I wanted to get a, a today, basically, rating. Reading. There we go. Wow, I could feel that air vibrating here, like roaring when it's blowing. This is why I'm going to be home all day today. Look at this. Whoa! I got to sit down, see? Now, if this was just a 10.8 to 30 volt, 500 watt inverter, this thing would overvolt so many times. Okay, I'm going to get this uploaded. Later today I'll come back out here and we'll do another video if the winds are worse. See, this is good wind. I don't like letting this stuff go. Getting it documented is awesome. Get this freaking wire out of my way. Oop. There's another uh, roaring wind I hear it blowing in. Okay, YouTube, we'll be back later. Remember, amps times volts, or volts times amps, gives you watts. 30 amps, 20 volts, 600 watts. Okay, bye.